Well, hello everyone. Today, I'm going to talk to you about narcissism and what it's like if you have to interact with someone who has narcissistic personality that's in your family and you guys are having a family get together or it's holiday time and this is always an issue. And I'm just going to say it's not going to be easy because narcissists are very difficult to deal with. Now, sometimes they are coming from a toxic family environment anyway. And maybe that toxic family is trying to move forward or they're trying to forget the past or they're trying to act as though there wasn't any damage done in the narcissist childhood or past well that narcissist is resentful they're angry they're not gonna make it easy for you so now you are gonna be at their beck and call and I've seen this situation quite frequently with parents who are maybe obsessive compulsive personality disorders and they raised a narcissist because they were too strict or they had their standards were impossible or they expected too much perfection with their with their child and then their child becomes a narcissist or there's another narcissist in the family and now that they're adults they want to be part of the narcissist child's life well that narcissist is going to do a lot of things. They're going to try to cut the family off. They're going to have interesting nuances and be set off very easily. It's just going to, you're going to be walking on, on eggshells. So check out this call that I recently heard. Happened because she's very narcissistic and she has a lot of anger and she feels like she's been the outcast, almost like she is the black sheep of the family. But she's done this to herself because she's always been envious. And this has just not started. This has been going on for years. Right. I agree. So, okay. you know, I hate to say this, but maybe you need to be the big person and just kind of accept her for who she is, accept her for who she's not. Um, and, you know, I know she's not going to go get any help because she doesn't think there's anything wrong with her. She thinks that you guys have all the issues and all the problems, unfortunately. But, you know, she does need some help. And the family does need, like, an intervening to kind of, like, connect together. But if you guys try to gang up on her and try to tell her what the situation is, if you know what I'm saying, it's not going to work out. So if you want it to be good, you're just going to have to shut up and take it. You know what I'm saying? But you're kind of like the mediator. That's the feeling I'm getting. Would you agree or disagree? Yes. Yeah. 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 I agree completely. That's why I'm home. Well, well, just just be the person you are. Actually, you've been doing a really good job with it. And if they want to have their issues and situations and stuff like that, then let them be the one. And you just kind of, you know, just deal with it and just kind of accept her for what she is. Because she's not going to change in this lifetime anyway. Sorry to say that, but that's what it is. Okay. God bless you. you. God be with you. I wish you guys the best of luck. Shucks, that's so hard when you're having disagreements with family. You can't always make everybody happy, but sometimes you got to just learn to love it and go with it. Yeah, so the best strategy is probably to just go for harmony, go for kindness, be nice. Of course, they're going to rip you up for that too, possibly, or not. But trying to have a family powwow or we're going to have a conversation with this person and we're going to try to, unless you are with a professional therapist, which would also be very, very difficult, then you just need to try to create harmony and peace and just have a nice gathering. But confronting the narcissist, first of all, they don't take ownership for anything that they do because they don't internalize that way. So they're not... They're very disconnected from that. And that's very baffling for people to understand because they feel like the narcissist is lying or, you know, why doesn't this, why doesn't the narcissist see the mean and cruel things that they're doing? They're not, they're not going to see that. That takes an enormous amount of time and patience, except the fact that you're going to be walking on eggshells and it's not going to be fun. And walking on eggshells will work sometimes, and sometimes it will not work. But just go in peace, try to make it as positive of a gathering as possible, and just accept that the person is mean and cruel. There's going to be some difficulty when you're interacting and expecting that someday you're going to have this amazing 
beautiful, peaceful relationship. Well, there are no perfect families anyway, but it's there's always going to be some toxicity to it. And rather than fighting it and dreaming and being disappointed every time you're in contact with with these people, just accept them for who they are. And you have to get some of your family bonding and connections with other family members or even doing things without that person. Now, I wouldn't throw that in their face, but maybe you can have some family gatherings that just don't deal with them at all so that you can have a break. So let's talk a little bit also about the narcissistic parent and what what that's like if you are the child of a narcissistic parent. They're not gonna model or show their children how to show real kindness. Kindness. A narcissist parent might teach their children how to fight others, like how to bicker, how to keep chaos going, how to challenge people. You don't back down, you stand up for yourself, but in a cruel and toxic way. So the child might always be in altercations and arguments and fights and parent is going to always defend that defend that they're never going to see that okay hmm, my kid needs to work on something here and it's not going to be that way they're they're not going to see that they're not going to show compassion necessarily when a child needs it they won't have realistic expectations of that child's age and where they're at they might also expect that child to raise themselves in many ways the child might be left alone a lot or when the kid gets sick you know what do most parents do they're gonna be at home with that kid a narcissist child will probably be taking care of themselves a lot um, as though they're adults uh, narcissists can be inconsiderate like vacuuming at three in the morning when everyone in the household is asleep that's very narcissistic but it's self-centered i want my house cleaned so i don't care if i wake everyone up they can be triggered into rages into anger they're just not going to have empathy they're not going to have empathy for other people's pain for other people's situations they can be overly obsessed with appearance and weight they can uh, because appearance is everything because remember they're an outer shell there's not a lot of internal good stuff going on so i've seen some narcissistic parents i've seen different types I've seen ones that are really harsh on the people around them, but with their children, their children do anything. I remember being in a meeting with a narcissist, somebody that I thought was a narcissist, and her children were there. And her children were running around the room, screaming, yelling, running up and down the stairs, doing just out of control, disrespectful. It was hard to concentrate. To, it was impossible to focus, but she acted like she didn't notice, like her kids weren't acting crazy, and yet her boundaries and standards for everyone else were super impossible and damaging. But she said, you know, my kids don't listen to me. They don't do anything I tell them to do. And so a narcissist can either be extremely, like, eat off the floor clean neat or they can be hoarderish I think uh, like really messy and I think a lot of narcissists who are super successful and grandiose they also have an OCD component there lightweight hoarding or hoarding tendencies just all of that and so they have this list of rules you might want to check out my video on that but uh, I've seen narcissists where you can hardly fit in the car but they're so rigid and rule oriented with everyone else and mean and cruel but so living with a narcissistic parent there they might fill up their lives and their children's lives with 150,000 activities there's no 
downtime to just be, just be you, just go play in your room or let's, you know, it's going to be thousands of activities because the narcissist doesn't have a lot of internal satisfaction going on. They don't want to think, they don't want to be stuck with their own thoughts. So they're going to do everything they can to avoid boredom. You know, they can experience chronic boredom. They don't want to experience any of that. So they're going to delve into the outer instead of the inner. So you might, it might be very overwhelming life to live. And they're just mean, vicious people. So a lot of times they will model meanness to people, cruelty, disrespect. And so that's what, what the kid is learning. High functioning narcissists do know on some level that there's something wrong. It's a very small window that they bump into occasionally that there is something wrong, but they're not gonna wanna admit that. They're gonna deny it. And as long as they can keep living their life the way that they do, they're not gonna get a whole lot of challenges because I've watched people around narcissists and it's like a deer in headlights. Everybody shuts down. It's like they're not gonna fight with the narcissist. They kinda go into their own defense mechanism, which is, okay, I gotta survive this moment, gotta survive this moment. I'm not gonna tangle, I'm gonna walk on eggshells, I'm gonna do what the narcissist wants. So when you tangle with a narcissist, first of all, most people are not gonna challenge them. And when they do, when you do, they're gonna come back at you. They're gonna think you are mean, evil, cruel. They're gonna hate you. So now they're gonna destroy you every chance that they get. Most people don't have time for that, they don't want that. And it's kind of a catch 22, it's like, they need to be confronted by their toxic behavior, but at the same time, it's not gonna help because they're not not—they're gonna think it's you and not them. So if you have the pleasure of being around a narcissist, and this can be tricky because in relationships, very difficult because you're doing a lot of projection, they're gonna do a lot of acting out on you. If you can build trust with them because they've had a toxic, upbringing so they don't trust anyone so you got to build a lot a lot of trust you got to be a safe person for them friendships it could work you could help them to heal probably best in a non-toxic friendship where the narcissist just really likes you they value you because remember they value and devalue so if they're valuing you then that means that you've got a chance, but they have to trust you. They also need uh, to feel heard and they need to feel cared about and they need to feel loved. And I know that's shocking, but they do. They need to feel unconditional love. They need to be able to express their feelings, their thoughts without judgment which they get a lot of non-judgment anyway because people are afraid of them. But you have to do that so until you can challenge some of their faulty beliefs. That takes a lot of time and you have to gently, but you also have to validate because they still have that adult barking in their mind that's telling them crazy ways to live. And they have to understand that you're an adult now. You don't have to subscribe to being overwhelmed or doing way too much because to do just a little bit means you're inadequate and that you're stupid and that you're an idiot. So they need a lot of unconditional love. They need to be heard. They need to be listened to. They need to be challenged on some of their faulty thinking by someone that they really 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 trust so good luck if you have family gatherings with a narcissist it's never gonna be easy and yet it can be easy depending because you you know just go for harmony and there's no way to not walk on some some eggshells with them so thanks so much for watching my video please like it if you want to see more on narcissism. I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe. Bye-bye.